September 10, 2023, the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, we are invited to reflect on Jesus' advice on how to recover the ones who have got lost, or who have failed. Jesus says, Your Father in heaven does not want even one of these little ones to perish. It is up to the shepherd, of course, to search for the sheep that is lost, wounded, or at risk of falling into a very deep and dark ravine. However, all Christians are shepherds. No one can say like Cain, Am I my brother's keeper? The law of love requires a commitment to bring the brother or sister onto the right path. But how are we to proceed in such a delicate matter? There is a mistake that must be avoided. Gossiping. Spreading the news of the air. This is defamation. It serves only to marginalize the one who did wrong, to humiliate him or her. The truth about others spoken without any benefit is gossip. The truth that does not produce love but causes anxiety, dissension, hatred, and resentment is better not spoken. We cannot just speak everything that is fact or everything we know. We must, above all, refrain from disclosing a truth to those who want to use it for evil. Jesus shows us the right way to tell the truth to a brother or sister who is in danger of being lost. The path to follow is divided into three stages. First, one has to talk personally to the brother or sister, person to person, face to face. Everything must be resolved in secret to prevent others from finding out what happened. If this first attempt does not produce the desired result, the second step is to ask for the help from one or two sensible and wise members of the community. Never forget the goal, the recovery of our lost brothers or sisters. We should never give the impression that we are cornering them or putting them in front of someone who looks to convict them. Rather, they must feel that they are dealing with friends who want their good and are willing to testify on their behalf. The final stage is the recourse to the community. This can happen only when the sin committed risks to disturb the brothers and sisters, especially those who are weak in the faith. If this occurs and the culprit refuses to amend, then they must be considered as a heathen and a publican. This recommendation comes from the lips of Jesus, who has just warned his disciples to see that you do not despise any of these little ones. How is it possible, then, that the friend of publicans and sinners pronounces such a harsh judgment? The responsibility and trust into the church is great. She is called to authentically declare which thoughts, feelings, and choices are in accordance with the gospel, and which ones move away from Christ. She does not cast out, condemn, nor punish anyone, but only helps them to become aware of the condition in which everyone stands in taking certain decisions. To achieve this result, it should be clear that the measures taken against them are not dictated by the desire to separate them from a community that considers herself perfect, but rather are dictated only by love.